Well, hello everybody, welcome back to uh, Area Arachnids and Tarantula Feeding Video July Part 2. We're going to start out with the Brachypalma sabulosum. Crunchy, crunchy. It's light where it should be, huh? This one's a male. You guys don't get to see him very often, but because he's usually in his coconut skull, or coconut hide, not skull, but... Maybe he'll move over here for us. <clears throat> if not, we can do this. Let's get some serious roach fighting action. He's actually calmed down somewhat in the last oh, last feeding video he wasn't. He was still throwing up threat postures, but the last time I fed him, he was a bit more uh, forgiving of me being in his territory. Okay. Okay, here is the female Davis Penalorus. No. Oh. That was pretty quick and she come out the other side here. What are you doing over here? Doesn't look like she appears to be hungry. So before she decides that she's going to take a walk, which they are known to do, she's very pretty though, isn't she? Uh, we're going to cover her back up and move on. Okay, here's the Gramostola species north. I just never know when she's interested in eating and when she's not. Well, if you don't, I'm not going to force you. Okay. And that's when you know they're not interested in eating at all. Okay, so inside that coconut hide is the orange uh, leopard gecko. I just threw some roaches in there for him, and he hammered the first one, so um, that's good to know that he'll eat them too, because the other two don't seem to like them. And I don't particularly like putting them in the aquarium because the red runners climb up the uh, silicone in the corners. Sorry, I got the hiccups again. I was hoping he'd at least come out and show himself. Let's see if he's interested in coming out for this. They took it. <laughs> there he is. So that'll be a good meal for him. Wish him come out a little bit more. But he's not a big fan of light either, so we'll have a handful of roaches in there for him to snack on and we'll move on. Okay guys, this is the suspected male Fauna Palma Annex. Not interested in eating? But don't sit over top of them and protect them. There you go. Sometimes they just don't want to eat off the tongs. Oh, that's, this is a this is a rodeo here. You gotta stand real tall for that one, buddy. See that ro that uh, worm is trying to dig itself a, a home. <laughs> trying to get away from the grasp of the tarantula. The way the tarantula caught it was probably not the best way to do it, but 
A lot of times they'll try and reposition it. Catch it on the side now. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, this is the Selenocosmia Cab Kovariki. Kovar Ricky or is it Cavor Ricky? I think it's Kovar Ricky. Um, we're going to try to feed this one. I don't know. Um, haven't seen it eat yet. I know it has, but I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, unfocused. You can see the turret right there. Good night. <clears throat> Guess that answers our question, huh? Uh, I wish this one would come out. I'd love to take a good picture of this one. It's really, really nice looking. Uh, I'm taking my life in my hands. I've never fed this one actually with the lid off. This is a Stradjaris Mariadinalis. We'll see what uh, this one does. A very, very good eater. Um, good night. <laughs> this one comes out a lot too after it grabs its meal. It likes to come out and walk around. So we'll, we'll watch it for a second while I get the next group of tarantulas over here. And uh, if it comes out, which it looks like it's going to do, we'll, we'll sit around for a minute. There, you, there it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful guy. Girl. Uh, just came out briefly, but uh, you get the gist of it. Uh, one of the four Ceratogars species I have. This one, which is the, again, Mary Denala, Sandari, uh, Darlingi, and Marshali. Okay, this is the Pamphibedius Antoneus coming out there. I'm grabbing the food and running back in. I love it. This is one of the ones that I really can't wait till it grows up because um, I really want to see how much blacker this one gets than the pulchras do, which I believe this one actually does get a tad bit more blacker, but uh, I think it's a little bit more fuzzier too. So we'll see as it grows. That's the beauty of this YouTube channel is that you guys can go back and watch videos prior. Um, I'd like to do just like a uh, introduction video tarantula by tarantula by tarantula after we get done with the tour uh, and we could spend like a minute or two on each one instead of trying to get through those tour videos that quickly but I'm glad this one ate again um, still a little skinny in the booty but uh, it's doing well so uh, let's move on okay real quick I was gonna feed this one but uh, we can't this is the Formentibus cancerides and it looks like it just molted not too long ago See if we can retrieve the molt without too much problem. There it is. So we're just going to give this one a little bit of water, spray it down a little bit, give it some moisture, and then see if we can't sex this molt. Um, I did suspect this one to be female last time. But it looks like it put on some size, so it definitely is going to have to come out of here uh, once it recovers from molt. This is the Cerecopelma melanotarsum. Let's see if this one's in interested. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so we're going to finish up part two. Ooh. Yeah, finish up part two with Homori, the two, and the Colorado Velosis, uh, Gramostola, Rosea, slash Species Mall and the Fonopelma calcodes if she's interested in eating. Here is the large Lasiodora Parahapana. Oh yes, yes indeed. Tom, if you're watching this, that's how you do off the tongs challenges. Just saying. I'm only kidding with you, Tom. I was rooting for you because I always have to root for the underdog. She's a beast. This one, a beast. I have 
70 of these guys coming tomorrow. 50 of them are already spoken for. Um, actually, like 53, 55 of them are already spoken for. So I have a handful more. I'll probably keep one or two myself and then figure out what I want to do with the other ones. That's the Adora Para Ibana. You can't go wrong with these at all. Crunch. Let's see if you can hear the crunching. No. I need one of those booms. I can hang the microphone right up here. Get the crunch. Ooh, gosh, those fangs. Goodness, goodness. Ooh. I feel bad for those roaches. So I've decided that we're just going to like name the roaches something that we don't like. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of. So, you know, if I'm in a bad mood one day, I want to feed something, then I'll grab a roach and just say, uh, I don't know, Donald Trump, here you go, get eaten, um, so on and so forth. But, yeah, Lassidor Paribana, uh, Brazilian, not Brazilian, just a salmon pink bird eater from Brazil. But these were legally exported from Brazil, um, so Brazil can't touch these or say anything about them. Okay, let's move on. Okay, not quite sure how this is going to go. This is the mature male Nandu Colorado Velosus. See if he's hungry yet. No, I don't want you on. Oh, you stupid roach. No, that's gonna be a big fat no. Okay, I gotcha. He's going crazy. That's uh, I'm not ready to eat. Get out of my home. Things look good, buddy. Okay, so you got to see a little bit of uh, threat posturing and a little bit of slapping of the ground. We'll just kind of coax this roach out of the corner here. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Talk to the roach. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, we're going to let you be. There's the female. Just so you know, she was already threat posturing. Before I even took the lid off, you don't get to see her very often, so I want you guys to get a good look. She generally likes to take her food in. Another big beast, bigger than the Nan or the Lassiodora, bulkier anyway. I think I think lengthwise too. If not, they're relatively close. That male is still going nuts in there. Ain't she a doll? I'm a sucker for blonde. That blonde hair on their legs. Okay, we have. Calcodes, Gramostola, and my Brachypelma Hamori, who we'll end with, um, left. So uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, here is the Aphonopelma Calcodes. She is still looking huge, but not dark. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's still quite possible that she will lay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and push her to do that and change her enclosure. Um, Give her something a little bit smaller, but a little bit deeper, and then really, really pack the dirt in there and her hide and see what she does. Uh, we'll get rid of all this extra curricular stuff out here and just have a uh, her wood hide over here in the corner, uh, but in a, not as wide of an enclosure, probably more like the um, 
Wacky Pomohomori that you'll see coming up, but I'm not going to try and feed her because she is just, she's just huge. So I'm, I'm still holding out hope that she possibly could lay. I just, I just don't, uh, I don't want to bank on it. Okay, just real quick, just the Gramostola, again, it was Sola species mole. I, I still think they're just Rosea anyway, but um, yeah, she's, she's a little large back there, so we're just going to let her be. I'm actually surprised she came out, but uh, I got one more to feed, and then I need to take a shower because we're going to, I guess we're going to see Skyscraper tonight. I, my wife wants to see it in the worst way, so we're going to go check it out. And uh, I'll let you guys know how it is in the next video. But uh, we're going to feed the Brachypalm Hamori and then pick everything up and head out. Okay, so we're going to do the last feeding. This is a Brachypalm Hamori female. There you go. Another one there off the tongs, Tom. Oh, I just love messing with people. I, I don't mean any harm. I know they know it. Beautiful, beautiful animals these ones are. Just absolutely beautiful. You know, there, there aren't many tarantulas that I don't think are nice looking. Even brown ones, they all have their own unique thing to them. I don't know where that molt go. There it is. I do want to check that molt out before I uh, head out if I can. So uh, we're going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed part two. Uh, I enjoyed doing it. Uh, I know that... Uh, so far, part one went, went, is doing pretty well. Um, and what do we have in store for part three? Uh, the P. marinus, uh, C. libidus. We have a lot of juveniles, small juveniles. Uh, Terranal pelmus azimes, um, Achilobrachys fimbriatus, Achilobrachys huihini, uh, Epipopus murinus, one of them. The uh, larger one isn't going to be ready to eat yet. Um, Rachypelma Kallenbergi, Neohaltha Yense, times two, uh, Grandma's Tola Pulcrapes, uh, small juvenile Rachypelma Elbopelosum Nicaraguan, and I think that might be it, um, there's, there's a little bit more I'm just looking at, I'm trying to remember, Holotheli uh, Longapes male, uh, he hasn't eaten the last three times I tried feeding him, but he's still pretty active, uh, and then we have the Semelpace Cambridgei, Semelpace Armenia, which I probably won't feed the Armenia. I'll probably do that in the Venezuela video, so it's separate. I'm looking at tarantulas. I'm paying attention to what you guys are watching. And uh, Evicularias, uh, two of them. Um, probably also the uh, Cereopagopus hottie hottie. Probably be fed in that video as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed part two. You guys know the, the drill up top. Hit the bell. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, brag, uh, whatever you want to do. Um, I don't mind promotion. I don't need it, but uh, I don't mind it. So uh, have a great day and uh, happy keeping.